National Organization for Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. Thank you, Mr. President. We thank the Council for holding an annual panel discussion on women's rights, and we thank the panelists for their insightful discussions. Mr. President, while women still struggle to fight against discrimination from domestic to working places, even after a long struggle for gender equality, we are in an era, in an era where women and girls must fight for equality and against discrimination in digital spaces. With the increasing role of ICTs, there is a need to increase the role of women in this field, and women should be able to equally enjoy the advantages of the ICTs as men without any digital gender divide. EFORD and Geneva International Center for Justice acknowledge the lack of access of ICTs for women, but we are equally concerned about women and girls who do not even have access to basic education, let alone access to ICTs. We also raise the concern about those women and girls who are the victims of armed conflicts, such as in Iraq, Syria, Yemen, and occupied Palestine, and who suffer from extreme poverty. Today, having access to education is far from reality for these women and girls. How would they enjoy the right to access to ICT? In many developing and least developed countries, majority of people do not enjoy the access to Internet. How would this become a reality to those millions who do not have a clue about the role of Internet in the knowledge about ICTs? While access to ICTs has its advantages from economic to social perspective, we strongly agree that it should be accessible to everyone without being biased on their gender, and we draw the Council's attention towards those women and girls who need to have basic education to access to the ICTs. Thank you.